Hey, so do you keep scoring below a nine on your bar routine? That's what I thought. So we're going to go into why <laughs> you probably are scoring below a nine on your bar routine. I'm going to give you four main tips to remember for your level five bar routine that hopefully will keep you from scoring below the nines, but that's up to you. Tip number one, you better make sure your casts are at horizontal, if not higher. That angle of deduction that we can take is up to a three-tenth deduction. The second tip is you better also make sure that free hip, you're thinking of it just like you are your cast. It needs to be horizontal or higher because, again, we can take up to three-tenths. Now think about it. Quick math, two casts in your team plus your circling, whether that be free hip, toe on, or stalder. What's three times three? Nine. So we could take a total of nine tenths just for having low casts and a low circle. Don't let that happen. Get your cast up and get your free up or circling of your choice, horizontal or higher. Tip number three is to make sure on your baby giant, you have excellent technique into your baby giant because that baby giant can cause an avalanche of deductions. Here's what I mean. Let's say your baby giant has poor body shape, poor speed, poor shift timing, you're going to do what I call the folding chair on top of the high bar, which means you just plonk on top of the high bar, which means it stops your rhythm. That's a rhythm deduction. Your body position, that'll be a deduction. You've been in your elbows, that'll be a deduction. You're going to have, like I said, an avalanche of deductions because of one mistake, which was lacking in the technique of your baby giant. Fourth tip I want you to remember is your dismount. Your dismount should be flipping above the high bar. It should also be a good distance away from the high bar. If you make the judges jump out of their seat because you pulled into the bar that much, you're probably not doing your dismount correctly. Don't make the judges have to wear diapers because you want to pull into the bar, okay? Go nice and high, go out enough that it doesn't make us jump out of our seats, okay? Now, of course, there's all the other little stuff like keep your legs together, keep your toes pointed, knees straight, elbow straight, head in, and good body position. That's all the little minor stuff but that minor stuff can add up to be big stuff. So I'm not guaranteeing that if you just do good cast and free up, you're gonna score in the nines. No, 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 no. But the cast, the free up, the baby giant dismounts, they are the main bulk of the meal. They are the ham and turkey, okay? Your form, that's gonna be your little side. That's gonna be mashed potatoes, that's gonna be your green beans, it's gonna be your corn, that's gonna be all the good stuff, right? The, all that stuff makes up the Thanksgiving meal. You can't just have corn and say you're full, right? You can't just have turkey. That's boring. You got to have everything put together. So you better make sure you've got your cast together, your free up together, your dismount, baby giant all together. And on top of that, making sure you've got good form. All right, let's get into a video example and discuss so you could see what exactly I mean. Okay, so let's jump into this level five bar routine. All right, so she has a really good jump to the bar. I really like how aggressive her glide is. She has a little form errors going on right here in the kip cast free up same thing form body position height we're going to be looking at form body position right there in the kip cast right there's that baby giant folding chair tap swings are nice and high but the body position is a little pikey she does her flip nice and high above the bar pretty good landing okay so first thing we're going to start with is her kip she does a really nice aggressive kip good right here she starts to bend her knees slightly Knee bend will be up to a three tenth deduction. Right here, going into her cast, barely is hitting horizontal. What we want to pay mind to is this slight little arch in her back. And we do want to keep that right here at horizontal. So she is barely making the cut. They could, from their angle, not think it's horizontal because it's that close. And there could have been a, a deduction. I'm not sure what their angle is. It's different from this angle, but moving on. Going into the free hip, notice what she does with her head automatically throws that head back that's going to cause a lot of issues in the free up when you throw your head back it's also going to be a body position deduction as you can see right here a little bit of a late shift and sticking out that head so that's going to cause some body position deductions and it's also going to cause some height issues in her free hip she is going to be below horizontal quite slightly um, horizontal will be right about here. So in her free hip, she will be coming out just a little bit below. Plus she straddles her feet a little early. So that may be a deduction. Again, just really depends on what the angle they're at. It's kind of hard for me to tell what their angle it would look like. 
but just be sure if you do straddle glides, you are not straddling too early and making sure you're going to horizontal. Now right here, she does hit her feet. That can be up to a three tenth deduction. Just depends on how hard you hit it. And of course, if the judges even see it, cause it was pretty quick. So they could have missed it, but I don't know. Knees are slightly bent again, right here on the squat on, feet are coming apart. Moving on to the catch. Kip again, that left knee likes to bend. Now right here, she's landing her kip in an arch. So when you land your kip open like that and your feet land right here, it's only gonna give you this much room to kick. We want to be landing the kip in a pike position because then that gives us from this point of our feet all the way here to kick. Do you see how much in the red, how much more angle you have to kick into the cast? So when you don't have a lot of angle, it's going to cause this to happen where you have a very low cast because you're not able to get too much power out of it. So right here is where she should have been at horizontal. As you can see, this is a pretty big angle. I could see a judge easily taking at least two tenths, if not more. Then going into the baby giant right here, you can see she does a slight pike. So there's going to be a body position deduction. And here we are going into our baby giant right here. You can see that head starting to poke out. You guys need to put respect on your head position. Your head position will determine a lot of your technique and your skill. So please make sure you keep your head in the position it's supposed to be, whether it's supposed to be in or out. It all depends on the skill and this specific skill your head should be in. Now moving on, as she sticks her head out, she's unable to shift. You can see right here in her wrists that they look bent, and that's simply because she is not shifting. So because she doesn't shift, here comes the avalanche deduction effect from said folding chair. And here's your folding chair. Notice what the folding chair issues cause. So let's just go through the first thing. Number one, her stopping like this in the folding chair is going to cause a rhythm deduction. Then she's going to bend her elbows. That's going to be an elbow deduction. Her head is out. That's going to be a deduction. See what I mean? Just an avalanche of things that could happen. And here she is having to pick herself back up, which is going to cause some body form issues here. Her knees are bending here. She's piked. And then as she goes into her undershoot, because she doesn't have much power coming out of her baby giant, that bar is sitting at her knees instead of more up on her hips. So it's causing this little pike into her hips. Shooting out was nice. She has really big, beautiful taps, except for the fact that she likes to pike her hips. I don't know if this has to do with the low bar and her hitting it. I get it, girl. Tall girls unite. Totally understand. Maybe she's supposed to straddle. I don't know. Maybe she should straddle again. I don't know. Or maybe this is just a bad habit she has. I'm not her coach, not trying to tell her what to do, but I'm just making an analyzation. And here she is again, same tap in the back is piking, but she does have a really nice arch kick at the top. And here we are letting go. She's letting go nice and high above the bar. There she can see her knees and there's the bar. So that is great. I will say she tucked a little bit early for her flyway. She should be waiting to tuck a little bit longer. And she didn't make me jump out of my seat. So the distance that she has from the bar to her landing is very good. Okie dokie, y'all. So that is pretty much it. I mean, honestly, it's pretty simple and pretty obvious. Have high cast, have a high circling, high dismount, nice baby giant, and keep your form in check. And you're probably going to have a pretty decent score. So hopefully that taught you guys some things. Let me know if there's any questions. Don't forget to like and share this to help support me on my page, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.